For today's outcrop of the day, I'm back at the base of the Jurassic Hampstead sandstone. This sandstone's here, where it's resting on Proterozoic basement. And it occurs to me that there's something very strange about this contact. First of all, it's completely flat. I've been mapping this for some time now, and I haven't seen a vertical elevation change of more than about 10 metres over the entire area. The current topography has a range of something like 200 metres, but the land surface at the early part of the Jurassic here must have been something like a gravel-covered billiard ball. In order to do that, you must have had a continent that was very stable for a very long time for gravity to work its magic and grind all the hills to a completely flat surface. Now that contact there represent something over a billion years of missing time. Wherever I've seen the basement contact exposed, it always looks the same. The sandstones and conglomerates above the contact are very well sorted, and they've got very well rounded pebbles that have clearly been worked in the water for a very long time, and probably traveled a very long distance. The basal conglomerate is always composed of pieces of quartz vein and schist from the basement, and they're very angular, indicating that they haven't traveled far at all. It's basically just a regolith gravel layer, and the contact is knife sharp and straight into schists from the basement below. There is no soil profile. It's just gravel onto solid rock. And that must have meant that the climate at that time was extremely dry. So we were looking at something like the deserts of Mongolia, where it's extremely flat, extremely dry, and there's just no soil. As we saw in some of my previous videos, the plant fossils and sedimentary structures, cross beds and mud cracks in the base of these sandstones indicate that it's probably a continental braided stream environment. And the scale of that stream environment is gargantuan. There are hundreds of meters of sandstone above my head here, and they cover hundreds of thousands of square kilometers in Northeast Queensland. So it rained a lot in the Jurassic here, and it kept raining for a significant period of time. So this knife sharp contact here actually is not just a geological contact, it's also a record of very sudden, very dramatic climate change. That change could have been the result of continental drift to a more humid latitude or a global shift in atmospheric conditions. But either way, if you were an average lizard living in the early Jurassic Desert, it was climate change. And it didn't end well.